the 700 pound bottle. My name's Aaron, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I am fantastic and doing really well. And today I am viewing Tom Ford Black Old Kid Lalique Special Edition. This is between 630 and 730 pounds for 15 mil. The notes are truffle, black currant, jasmine, ylang ylang, bergamot, gardenia, orange and lemon. The bundle notes are orchid, spices, jasmine said twice, ylang ylang, fruits, lotus, gardenia. Base notes are chocolate, patchouli, incense, amber, vanilla, cedarwood and white musk. Do all those notes mean something to you? Can you picture incense and can you picture black truffle? Can you picture white musk? I'm sort of very curious. Do we have our bottles of Tom Ford expensive Lalique 730 pound bottles of black orchid? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So the perfume is not in the little 700 pound bottle and there's a little Lalique for Tom Ford and that's been laser etched, but it doesn't come in that. The actual perfume is inside and it has a little funnel. Also has a very nice card. Very excited about this. I, I hope it's not just Black Orchid in the bottle for 700 quid, because that's kind of crazy. But I, I really hope it's something gorgeous. I hope it's like that Black Orchid thing pushed up. One thing I wanted to ask as well, apparently Black Orchid used to be so strong when it first came out that you could smell it in the room. It lasted for days, apparently. I'm just very curious as to if anyone out there used to buy Black Orchid when it very first came out, if uh, you're able to confirm that or, you know, whether like everything to do with Tom Ford, unfortunately, it's everything's getting weaker and the cost is getting more. So as I pray to the perfume guards that this is amazing and that it's worth £740, I'm going to apply some skin. What you're smelling with Black Orchids, a symphony of vanilla, aldehyde C18, which is the uh, peachy one. It's a peachy coconut, vanilla, eugenol, which gives that sort of spiciness to it. And the lightness is to do with sort of hedion, Isu Super. Incense is a brilliant accord. I really enjoy making incense and fruit accords. And that's primarily to do with the cinnamon notes, the uh, damasco molecules, um, a few acetates, DMBCA, all that sort of stuff goes into really working with the chords. And if you're starting perfumery out there, I would suggest you work on accords and you spend a year working on accords, make a rose accord, make an incense accord, uh, make a wood accord, make a rose accord, a jasmine accord. Um, that's what I would suggest because kind of when you're making this, the accord is at the center of it and then you support the accord with sort of background notes with the correct amount of Isu Super, Hedion, the right amount of Musk. And then you sort of want to support it with the naturals and the right amount of naturals. And then sort of, I'd consider this classic sort of orientals with the ionones. And this is a perfumer who's very skilled with handling beta ionones with fruit molecules, benzoyl acetates, all that, all that sort of stuff helps to give this sort of feel to it. And it's incredibly complex and smells incredibly sort of simplistic because you're thinking, okay, that's Black Orchid and that's how it sort of sits and that's how it finishes. Some of the notes, they give it that sort of cleanness. And Nerol is sort of what is used for Neroli. In a, that's the aroma chemical that's to do with sort of uh, Neroli that is apparent in this. The musk choice in this is like really key actually. There is a musk, uh, which I've just ordered. It is in this. And on literature, it said it's the finest musk known to man, the most eloquent musk, refined. I think it's called exaltone, musk of the own prefix, which is ketone. So most musks are ketones. And that is in this, and it gives a very fine feeling. It's brilliant with sort of vanilla compounds, very good for building with vanilla. With iris accords, it sort of gives a real smooth, fine, eloquent feel. 
and also you sort of want to build muscle cords around it. I have a little sample of it and uh, I'm very excited to uh, be working with it at the moment. On to my final thoughts. I do sort of feel massively disappointed if I'm honest to you. I don't have value particularly in packaging. It's not really the thing for me. I sort of, I look at it, I don't really have a thing on it. I sort of, I understand now Two years ago, I just didn't really understand it at all. But now I really understand what patch packaging means to people because a lot of my customers show me my fragrances with all the other fragrances. And I sort of, I can understand it now. But for me as a perfumer, primarily I'm really interested about what's in it and that's what the value is in it for me. And that's why I don't really review the bottle, the boxes, the atomizers. But in this aspect, you know, I think it's quite important. There really isn't any difference between this and normal black orchid. I mean, it doesn't really have alcohol so it's a perfume concentrate and I'd imagine actually to turn a perfume you have to have a solvent because it would be very very allergenic to actually have this on its own so you'd use the dipropylene glycol uh, isopropyl myristate or there's another compound which you can use to make perfumes alter the viscosity which is the thickness and flow so in that aspect I'd imagine that it's dipropylene glycol that as a solvent is pennies and that's what I imagine what you're getting. You really are paying for the packaging. Um, so I'll run through my marks with you. Technically, I think this is, I still think it's brilliant. I still love it. Um, I still hold it in reverence. Interestingly, smelling it now, my brain has a different effect to what I used to think about it. So when I used to wear this a sort of a long time ago, uh, I loved it and my memories attached to it were really happy. My first holiday, which I could afford, I went for my friend to Grand Canaria and I wore Black Orchid and I bought a bottle and I loved it. And it reminds me of really happy times. And so I have really good memories attached to it. But if I take my mind out of that, with all those ha really happy memories of just where it was just really good fun. Um, I sort of, I'm going to be objective to it. I still love it. I think technically it's a masterpiece. I, from smelling all the flankers, you can't outdo it. All the sort of the velvet orchid and that luminaire and the perfume. I don't think with, at the moment, and this is in my opinion, I don't think Tom Ford can outdo the original. That's just what I think. I think the original is dead on unisex. I think it kind of does everything. A little bit sad because I would love to have seen some really, I mean, they can do it. They could, they could add some really expensive raw materials, some new sort of things to it to really make it exciting. You could smoke it out. I don't know why they're not sort of smoking it out or adding ambers to make it explosive and that sort of long, really increasing the longevity of it. That's kind of what I'll do. But so technically, I think it's brilliant. I think it's glorious. I think it's wonderful. So I guess it's two out of two. But they still ordered the compliance, legal paperwork, all of that, two out of two. And the reason I say that is because there are some companies out there, some quite large companies out there, which don't have any of the paperwork on the box, which means that they're not safety assessing. And safety assessing a uh, fragrance is very expensive. So there are companies out there with huge amounts of money, which are getting around all the legal compliance, which makes it not suitable for sale. So absolutely yes, they'll order product compliant, legal, safe. Next mark is the price. This is way overpriced. I know nothing about Lelic bottles, but for me, this feels like beautiful sort of ceramic bottle. 700 quid for this. I mean, if it had little stones on, Swarovski crystals or something, you're kind of, I don't know, it's seven, between six and 700 pounds for that. I kind of don't know for me. And the last four marks are whether I like it. I love it, but I do feel a little bit uh, like the piss has been taken out of me by 700 quid for 15 mil. I mean, I think gold's more than that. Very clever marketing. And I think this is nice, interesting, but is it worth 700 quid? I don't think so. So I'm going to take it all into account. I'm going to mark this uh, a 7 out of 10. And I just think it's outrageous charging 700 quid for that. Interestingly, how I feel now about Black Orchid is it's kind of not having the same effect it did. And I really think that then I didn't have the experience in perfumery. I kind of was just starting out. And I still think it's very, very good, but it doesn't really have that spine tingly thing that it used to, which is a shame really, but that's life. We move on and progress. So I hope you left that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for more fascinating, interesting content. Lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance reviews. 
Hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you soon.